I am nervous about the fitness test today. Okay. It's even jumping. You can jump if you want, hey. or you just step back. There's no jumping. <laughs> oh, they're like jello. <laughs> Some people strap them over their shoulders, put them around their neck, whatever you want to do. <laughs> oh my god, no. Pick it and flip it. Push it up. Yeah. Good. God, how much is this way? Go, 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 go! Woo! <laughs> oh, okay. Great work. This fit test. <laughs> yeah. It was really hard. Yes, it is hard. <laughs> it was somewhat impossibly hard, I think, for most people. Now I see people do this on your show, yep. and I'm just like. Shocked that I'm like, really? Is that really a true measure of an average person's fitness? So, on previous seasons, we only had somebody do three components of the four today. But in the family episodes, we had four parts of the fitness test. In the last part, the family worked together to get everything done. So today, you did everything on your own. You didn't have the rest of your family here to help you in the last part. So you did a little bit more work than the families did. But they just unfit people just take longer to do things. Mm -hmm. So fit people can always do something much more quickly. So however long it takes you is what it takes you. What you want to, what we want to see in four months, are you better than you were the first time? The, the goal about this fitness test is that it's, I call it a full body functional core circuit. Most people do not train this way in the gym. When they go to the gym, they'll get on a bike or an elliptical or a treadmill and they'll set it at a, at a certain level and they just do the same action over and over and over again. Here, you're doing different actions using every muscle in your body on, on every exercise, your core, your upper body, your legs. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're working anaerobically, which most people don't do, where you're working intense intervals when your heart rate gets, and your heart rate gets maxed right to the top limit. So to train like that is very uncomfortable. That's why people don't do it. But that's how you need to train at a gym. You need to pick up, pick up some free weights, do squats with a shoulder press, a lunge with a twist, step ups with a bicep curl, incorporate the entire body in a movement because that's how your body's designed to train. We just don't train like that. So that's why it's right. tough. So but so I don't need to go be flipping a tire every day at home. No, no you don't, but in the, in the gym, what I would do is I would do like a squat with a bicep curl and that would prepare you for doing flipping a tire. Now you're going with families. So yes. why why the switch from the individual to the families? Well, really, childhood obesity has become a big issue with our society nowadays. And the children are getting heavier and heavier. So we need to address this issue because they're now the research shows they're not going to live as long as their parents were because mm -hmm. of their weight, because of chance of getting diabetes, heart disease, cancers. So we have to address this issue, or our our healthcare system will be uh, destroyed, and kids will be just not living healthy, functional lives. Do you believe the parents are responsible for their child's obesity? I would, I would say, in my opinion, the parents are mostly responsible for their childhood obesity problems. And that's because at the beginning, they're the ones to determine what goes in their child's mouth. So they have to be smart and have the common sense and make the time to making sure their kids are getting proper nutrition. Because ultimately, I think most parents want their kids developing in healthy, fit adults, to be healthy, fit adults. The first thing is that I would, I would say learn how to cook. Okay, <laughs> parents don't know how to cook. They, they'll order food on a phone to get it there quickly, or they'll just open up a package, add water to whatever they're yeah. making. Learn how to cook nutritious meals. That's number one. Number two, go play with your kids. Mm -hmm. Whether you just go outside and you kick a ball around or throw a ball around, go to a playground and just do a, like a playground obstacle course yourself, go play with them and spend time with them. You do those two things, you got a good chance of being a lean fit person.